Hello gang, welcome back. It is your boy Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're playing Iron Throne and with Iron Throne we are doing the Invasion Rift. So let's go ahead and talk about the Invasion Rift. What all is going on? How can you be good at it? And what's the best way to get to those higher levels? So right now we're doing, I'm in the middle of Invasion Rift so I'm not going to stop my gameplay. I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it while I'm doing this. So we're doing a level 18 which is the highest level for Kingdom 50. And the rewards from this event are amazing and probably won't have the opportunity to go ahead and show you what the rewards are as this is an event that really requires a lot of attention in order to do well. But I'll be able to go ahead and show you a whole bunch of different things that we'll be seeing throughout. So what is Invasion Rift and how do you play it? So Invasion Rift is going to be an event where it's essentially like Fallen Knights that you get from King of Avalon, it's going to be like uh, the Red Red Guard something from Guns of Glory. Don't really recall exactly what it was called, but it's just the opposite. So instead of these PvE players are attacking you, now it's they're attacking your Alliance Castle, and you have to defend your Alliance Castle by attacking them first before they reach it. So there's going to constantly be these different strongholds or dimensional gates. Now strongholds are going to be much stronger op uh, opponents and you're going to have to rally them. So you can set rallies for 30 seconds, you can set rallies for one minute. Um, you can set them for longer. I usually generally set them for one minute. Right there you just saw that I set it for 30 seconds. So I screwed up. It was an accident. It automatically sets you for 30 seconds. So I messed that one up. However, one thing that we want to really focus on is getting to these uh, monsters before they get to our um, Alliance Castle. So there's a couple different ways and strategies that we can do this effectively. So one of the best ways is teleporting to the outskirts of your Alliance um, Hive area. So we have people spread out across and then right outside is where our new you know dimensional strongholds or the um, rally attacks will have to occur and that's where they'll spawn so it's nice quick marches. Um, one thing that we'll notice a lot is that a lot of these, a lot of the time, these troops, um, you know, they'll spawn right outside of it. So it's a nice short march. So what you want to do is you want to send only cavalry. Now this is something I can do really easily because I have great, I have pretty good stats. Um, something that I can't really do that easily is, you know, keeping up on everything that's going on and having my, making sure that every single time that it is marched people are actually going to succeed with a march. That's not a constant. It's not a guarantee. So what you got to do is you have to ensure that one, everyone is watching how close these troops are actually getting to attacking your alliance castle. And then it's about getting points and getting at least one march in. Um, we're getting into one rally in order to get all the rewards from this event. So some things that we want to look at and with this event is that we want to make sure that A, everyone's getting points. If you aren't getting points, you're not getting rewarded. Um, so people will always complain. They're like, well, you guys are much closer to this event. You know, you're getting all these points. I'm not getting any points. Well, get into something, you know, go do something. Don't just sit there. So. That's why I like setting this one minute rally because it allows more opportunities for people to get into the rally. And like right now I'm trying to speed in so that we can actually get off without a hitch in that march. Alright, so now we're getting pretty bogged down. This is um, level 18, so it's the highest level. There's two more levels after this. Yeah, our well, level. our highest level that we can do. So it's something that we haven't really experienced, and, you know, for our kingdom, it's the highest level that anyone's been able to do, so it's going to be a little difficult in order for us to do this, because, you know, it's not really designed for us. We're just, we're special. We're cool like that. So if we, oh, right, uh, right as soon as I want to go actually, like, show people something, I got to go and send more marches now. Alright, so 
one of the ways outside of just, you know, looking around trying to find something that's in front of you, another way to be able to see where these enemies are coming from is by utilizing this little blue icon on the right hand side. It'll be red when you are marching it, it'll be black if you're not marching it. So let's go ahead and uh, click. It also tells you timers. Oh, this person's got to get that done. Okay, cool. So it'll show you if you're in the good range, or you're in the normal range, or if you're in the danger range. So right now, we constantly just reset it, so now we can go ahead and start finding new. Of course, swag starts rallies as soon as I want to march something. They're right next to me. They're literally both right next to me. Yeah. Whatever you say, Chief. Swag's not always a truthful telling person. One is literally touching my castle, and one is touching a defile, or almost touching a defiled stronghold. That's touching my cat. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes swag likes to exaggerate on a lot of things. Anywho, exaggerate. let's go These ahead. Don't even exist. Let's go ahead and hit the invasion rift button, and we can see all the wow white lines beating me in points. I need to tell them to calm it down so I can get better points. But, like, look at these rewards. We're getting Master Compasses, we're getting Alliance Speedups, we're getting the War Trumpet Shackles, Kindling. We're getting a whole bunch of Alliance uh, Honor and Points. If we take a look at rewards just for uh, for rank, we'll see that we're getting a lot of War Coins and a lot more of these um, Alliance Points as well as Speedups. So, rewards are really great from this. A lot of people will complain, though. But you honestly only need to get into one march in order to get those points. So, you know, if if you're not going to be the number one in your alliance or, you know, top three and you're not going to have 10 billion points at the end of this one, then just just make sure that nothing, you know, nothing gets into your alliance castle. You know, I, I could probably do better if I didn't have people all over my PP, if you know what I mean. I could also probably do better on my phone where things actually happen at a relatively normal speed of pace. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much the gist of uh, Invasion Rift. I hope you all enjoyed this. It's just a constant struggle of trying not to get yourself killed and utilizing a lot of cabs so you could be the fastest one there. Um, I recommend to my Alliance members not to utilize anything other than cav. Um, and not to utilize any march speed simply because if you utilize heavy march speed you're just going to make it unfair for anyone else around you and I'm also not really a huge fan of people teleporting next to you and stealing all of your kills but I like skills, I like Aussie chicks so they're okay in my books and we lost Invasion Rift well that's a great way to end the video thank you all for watching this is Captain Cowboy go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Go ahead and hit me up in the DMs to go and check out the plate test. Thank you all for watching. This is Camp Cowboy.